In this video, we're gonna talk about what digital marketing is and how you can use digital marketing to grow your business and why I think it is the best opportunity that has ever come along. And if you own a business or want to start a business, it makes being in business easier than ever. So let's get into this video. How's it going everybody? My name is Brandon Bershears. I do digital marketing. I have an agency called Maverick Digital Marketing. I also have podcasts and create content and create daily marketing videos here on YouTube. So if you are trying to grow your business or if you wanna start a business, if you wanna start an agency, if you're looking to do any of those things, then please consider subscribing because I create daily videos that helps you to get better at marketing. So what is digital marketing? Well, you've probably heard about things like content marketing or blogs or video creation, or just in general, there's social media marketing too. Like there's all of these different concepts and that all falls underneath the larger umbrella of digital marketing. Digital marketing is using anything on the web to take attention and turn that attention into some kind of an action, hopefully. So sometimes you'll have people that want to sell things like on websites like Shopify or ClickFunnels or WooCommerce or other tools like that. But how do we get people to go and take action that we're looking for them to take? That's exactly what digital marketing does. Now I'm a huge proponent of content marketing. And content marketing is a part of digital marketing where we create content that's relevant to a group of people. We use that content to segment those people and show those people offers. There's also pay-per-click marketing. There's search engine optimization. There's social media marketing. There's email marketing. There's e-commerce marketing. There's all these different specialties of digital marketing. But ultimately what they do is they take attention and they turn that attention into action. And so it really is as simple as that. Human behavior is pretty much the same. It's really interesting. If you look at books like Scientific Advertising, it was written in the early 1900s. And it's super, super relevant because today even because people typically behave in certain ways. So we use the, what we know about human behavior to drive attention and drive traffic to different offers. And then we get people to buy typically things that they need or want based on their activity. And that's what digital marketing does. Now there's two kinds of ways to get people to do something. You can try and get people to do something by enticing them to do something, or you can get people to do something because they want or need it already. Now I'm a big fan of trying to find people who want and need what I'm selling instead of trying to make them consider that they should be buying something because it's a lot easier to find somebody who wants something. For example, if you're trying to sell a hamburger, what's the most important thing that you need? Some people might say, well, we need the best quality meat or buns or lettuce. But I think that if you find a starving crowd who is really, really hungry, they'll pay a lot of money for that cheeseburger because they already want it and they're starving. So that's kind of what digital marketing does. Through content and other strategies, we use attention and we take that attention, segment it, and then show relevant offers and make offers. Now, a lot of times, especially with businesses, you'll hear, you know what? Digital marketing doesn't really generate return on investment for me. And they get confused a lot, especially when it comes to social media marketing or other channels where they're creating content and they're doing a lot of work and activity, but they're not turning that activity into actual sales or leads. And so a lot of times, especially if they don't have a clear strategy, digital marketing seems really difficult. But the way that we, we do digital marketing through my agency and the way that good marketers do marketing is that they're able to measure and track their offers. They're able to track return on investment, return on ad spend. And typically they create one objective per campaign and they measure that objective. So most marketing in general, you start out, you've probably heard the term a marketing funnel. And a marketing funnel is a big component of digital marketing because we drive attention and traffic and find out people that are interested through segmentation and then we show offers. So you have three stages of the funnel there. We have awareness, which in order for people to understand or to, in order for people to do business with you, they have to know about you, right? And if they don't know about you, they can't do business. So that awareness is at the top of the funnel. A lot of the content that we do and create gets people to be aware of our content and aware of our brand so that they can take the next step in our relationship. The next step of the funnel is the middle of the funnel, which is evaluation. So once they know about you, they have to evaluate you. Once they've evaluated you, then they can convert. And that conversion process happens 
once somebody becomes a customer and pays you and then hopefully they continue to convert over time so we take the attention and the time that where people are spending time we take so we take places that people are spending time on like social media networks or google or yahoo or bing or other search engines or just anywhere people are generally taking time and we drive people through different funnels. Now funnels are gonna look different depending on the different stages of the purchasing process people are in. So for example, if you have somebody that is just researching what the best kinds of cars for having a family member, I'm sorry, for having... <laughs> so for example, if you take somebody who just is starting off the purchase process and trying to find out what kind of cars are best for having a family, for example, that's a very different stage of the funnel than somebody who is looking at specific lease payments on a specific model of a car and so in general we and depending on what your business is and depending on how you want to be targeting people who want to do business with you you're going to target different stages of the funnel and be able to drive action and activity based on what the person searching or the person engaging what their mindset is and then what action they're looking to take so it's definitely a science and an art because your business is special and even though there's a lot of similarities between different businesses you're going to know ultimately what your clients want and need more than probably anybody else so how is digital marketing different from traditional marketing in general it's pretty much the same the only difference is that it's all done online so in the past there have been tv advertisements newspaper advertisements direct mail billboards, things like that, we pretty much have an equivalent of those inside of digital marketing, right? So billboard ads are like banner ads, for example, and direct mail is like email. And newspaper and advertorials, for example, are a lot like Facebook. So there's a lot of overlap between marketing and advertising in general and digital marketing. It's just that the tools and level of sophistication that we have within digital marketing allows you to track and understand exactly what's going on, what your conversion rates are, what your return on ad spend is. And so for that reason, it is amazing. Most business owners have more tools now than they ever have had before. One thing that's so cool about digital marketing too is that the barrier to get started is very low. And so there's a few things that's exciting about that and there's a few things that are not so exciting about that. So since the barrier to entry is super low, you can go right now and start running Facebook ads and you'll be up and running within just a little bit, which is amazing. It's not too hard to get started. The problem is, is that it is extremely crowded and it is extremely competitive. And so if you don't know what you're doing, you can quickly waste tons of money and a lot of people do. And so if you ask most small business owners, have you ever run Facebook ads? Almost all of them will say yes. And you'll say, great, what was the return on ad spend on that? They'll have no clue because they don't know how to set up and measure and track things. So I make daily marketing videos here that helps to educate you to understand exactly what you should be doing for your digital marketing and how to grow your business in a way that's measurable and scalable. That's what's important here. We need to understand what's working and what's not. And the only way that you can do that is by setting specific objectives and having each of those objectives be measurable. Now, depending on what part of the funnel you're, you're working on, if you're generating awareness, if you're generating evaluation, or you're generating conversion, you're gonna be measuring those objectives differently. And in the next videos, we'll talk about the different objectives that you should be measuring across each step of the funnel. If you need any help though, please don't hesitate to ask and um, comment below if you need any help or if there's anything that I can do. I love digital marketing. I've been doing this for about 12 years now and it has changed so much, but I just see that there's a huge opportunity for small businesses. If you are a business and you're not creating content and you're not driving people through funnels, you're gonna have a really hard time to stay in business. Business is shifting and it's only growing more and more towards online. So if you don't stake your claim right now in the land rush that's happening in digital marketing, you're gonna be way behind the curve. So the best time to start is today. Well, the best time to start was actually yesterday, but the second best time is today. So if you haven't started, please let me know what I can do to help. Uh, if you ever need help with anything, again, just comment below. Happy to answer questions. And please consider subscribing. I do daily marketing videos here, and I love this stuff. So I'll see you on the next video. Be sure to subscribe. Have a great day.